Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are here on Forza Motorsport. Uh, this is going to be our six-day series. This uh, six-day series is going to be a uh, ongoing thing on the channel. Uh, we're going to do six days. It's going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for two weeks, and then I'll end the series. And and it won't be a full playthrough or anything like that. Just long enough for you guys to see if you guys like it or not. If it gets a lot of support, I will continue it on for now. The reason why we're starting this now and you're getting loading screens is because it will not load to a main pro a main screen. It loads to this screen. <laughs> so uh, you get a cinema and then you get the um, thrown right into a race. So. I tried to do all the optimizations that I could. I'll probably have to wait and do some setting changes after the first race, but I'm gonna cross my fingers here and uh, <laughs> we'll see what's going on here. I'm gonna be quiet, let this cinema play, and then uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys again when we get back into the game. Driven by competition. I do have music turned off, but in the cinema they have their own music, so celebrate every That's what you guys are hearing. And discover who we are at the limit. Welcome to a new era of motorsport. Welcome to Forza. Also, I have adjusted my sound settings down. I'm hoping it saved it. If not, I might have to do it again. I'll check before we get this started in the actual race itself. Like I said, there's no... When you first load the game up, there's no starting menu. You want to get everything on camera with you guys. Also, it's nothing to do about the loading screens either. Um, every time I minimize to start and check my recording software, it locks the game up, and then I have to close the game out, and then I have to start the card game. That's, that's five times I've went through this. So uh, I just want to get this first part <laughs> recorded <laughs> and uh, get to where I can actually go out into a a main screen. I don't know what their problem is with main screens also i did have to record this in uh display capture because it would not capture it with uh, game capture for some reason i never usually have those problems with uh xbox games in Maple general Valley is the perfect track to put the new corvette e ray through its paces it's not a race you won't be alone out there so keep an eye out for traffic also, I left uh, subtitles on for when they talk. I'm getting some glitches and stuff, so... Okay, so we are... The race line is your optimal path on track. When it's blue, Ooh. be on the gap. When it's red, hit those brakes. It's gonna be weird. I am playing on mouse and keyboard, so... My son has been dying for me to play this game. But I've been holding off because I planned on doing a series with you guys. So. Down the track from inside or outside the car. Ooh. Now, from everything that I've seen on this, there is um, penalties for going off track. So, <laughs> and for hitting people. It will be interesting to see the difference between this and Forza Horizons series. I'm 
looks pretty good even though I had to reduce the settings down a little bit for my computer to work that's gonna cost me yep he wants me to rewind but I'm not doing that never been a big fan of the rewind but I did use it in Forza Horizons a lot Again, you have no control over this. Like, you have to do this. You have to go through the cinema and you have to do this race. Which I don't agree with. There should be a, a screen for you to load into. Change your settings and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to get to a spot where I can actually stop and not have to do anything and then we'll we'll talk a little bit more about the game and the series and all that kind of stuff. I did post a community page on the subject of the new series that we're planning. Actually, it's a new type of uh, video content is what I'm what I'm getting at. It's like usually when I when I play a game, I'll <sighs> really okay. <laughs> Plenty of laps behind us, and only a couple more to go. Just one last pit stop for fresh tires, and you'll be in a great position for the final push. I'm really not happy that the beginning of the game forces you to do this instead of giving you a loading screen so you can change your settings and stuff. Finish the race. Oh man, I really can't mess with you right now. Dang it. Sorry, I turned my alarm off. My wife's already up, I just forgot the... Well, I didn't forget. They really don't want to let you by, do they? I have heard that the, uh, the AI in this game is really rough. Yeah. We'll see. I basically left everything at the default setting, so... I haven't really changed anything yet. laps we got also we gotta go a whole nother lap around yeah so we're in place nine Come on. One of the problems my son was having was uh, the the AI would like block his car from actually going around them, which is it's kind of cool. But we, I can see how that would be annoying if you were actually playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Me and my son are big, uh,
Hang on, I forgot the name of the game now. <laughs> Gran Turismo. Yeah, we're big Gran Turismo friends. We've, we've basically played all of them. Great race. Terrific driving. I wouldn't even not qualify that as completing my first race. From open practice runs to thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel races, that's just a small sample of. What you guys, let me know if you like the uh, um, text down here. I can turn that off if you guys don't want it on. I can leave it on too. Um, are you gonna make me race three Let's races? Gear up for your new racing career. Oh, finally! Here we go. So. Um, I guess we'll go with man. You can come back later to try something else or to check out what's new. Uh, we are. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I was going to let you guys see different outfits, but apparently clicking on it changes your outfit. Hopefully you can change that in game. We'll see. A car's journey from the showroom floor to the winner's circle. Is the culmination oh, we can get a little bit of lag here on this cinema. Decisions. Every part, every detail, all carefully chosen by great builders who know what it takes to push a car past its perceived limitations, to find that extra tenth of a second, and in the process, create something that is a unique extension. Ooh, the super uh. If there's specific cars you want me to try in game, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see about getting those. The uh, problem in this game is their their uh, upgrade system and stuff. They they've been working on it, but it's a little weird in this game. So I don't like that it's lagging in that cinema. It wasn't on the other ones. For our first series, we have a few cars for you to choose from. Each is a great starting point for you to build. So pick the one that speaks to you. Okay, so you guys that know me and have seen series in the past, me and Works did a Forza Horizons 5 and 4, I believe, series for the channel. Um, I <sighs> will not be driving Fords if I can help it, so this one's out. So that leaves us with the Subaru STI or the Honda Civic. Now, <laughs> um, no, stop it. Um, it, it, the second I click on that, it's going to take it, isn't it? And there's no way to rotate it or anything. So view car or anything like that. So Subaru, um, I'm assuming this is going to be all wheel drive. It's a tough choice for me because I drive I drive a Honda Civic now. So hmm. We'll go with this one. Oh, we have to actually hit enter. Okay. Does that mean I can Okay. The Honda Civic has been a street tuner favorite for decades with its balance of front wheel drive. There's nothing wrong with either one of these. Uh, if you like Fords, you, you can pick the Ford too. It's, it's fun. It's fun racing vehicle. I just not a fan of Fords. Never have been. Oh, you can click on it and see. Okay, okay. Let's go back then. And I'll show you each one of them so you guys can see them. If it's going to give me like a little firm thing. May be the greatest high performance Subaru of all time. Its compact turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive system is perfect for epic acceleration and remarkable handling. Okay. And just for you guys, just for you guys, I will go ahead the Ford Mustang is the and show you this one. Car and an American icon. This GT model is both beauty and beast, channeling raw V8 power through its rear tires for impressive lap times. 
Also, let me know about the audio so I can adjust those. I, I did adjust them down. We're going to go back, and I think we're going to go ahead and go with the uh, Honda Civic for now. All right, let's go. Here is where you create your best possible racing experience by adjusting the difficulty and rule set. As your racing skills evolve, try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. Okay, so <laughs> I will never probably be playing on this one. Um, um, I don't mind having to change my tires, to be honest with you. But I think I'm going to start out with club rules for, for now uh, until I get used to driving in this particular game uh, on the keyboard and mouse. And uh, we'll, we'll see from there. So again, this right here, driver chart difficulty, higher values make AI opponents achieve faster lap times through more precise gas braking and cornering. First, second, and third to collect bonuses okay so uh i am is this you oh you click on this on it you only get the bonus if you finish first second or third um and if i click this It's a 50% bonus. Uh, let's go about about there. We'll try that, and then I'll move it up from there if I need to. We're going to keep with the uh, club rules here. We're going to go ahead and accept that. You can change these settings anytime between race events. Cool. What? you talking about I don't know what that was about <laughs> looks like this is a loading screen it looks like they're gonna make us race to this one before we can actually get to any kind of a menu, so. Practice is your time to learn the track layout and how your car handles. I've set a target lap time for you. If you struggle to achieve the lap time, consider changing the difficulty settings before the race. Now let's get after it. Okay. I think we're fine. I hate saying this, but I would like to, you know, actually get into like the actual game. You know what I'm saying? Practice is a critical part of any race event where you hone your skills with your latest build on the track you'll be racing. As you practice, you earn credits, and we'll be tracking your lap times to see how you match up against the competition before the race. Every practice has a target lap time, which is based on your driver's chosen driver tar difficulty settings. Hit the lap time target will give you credit bonus and is a good indicator of Indicator that you will be competitive in a race. Hmm. This is pretty smooth. Nice handling. It's a little uh, squeaky 
on those turns. We do want to not go off the edge there. I think my driving assist is actually uh, helping me drive here a little bit. Wow, you can't see anything. I do like how the actual Gravatar is uh, reaching down for his uh, shifter to downshift. Pretty cool. Um, as you race the car that you choose, you it gains levels. Hello, hello. I got it. It went off the track again. Come on, man. Stop it. Um, anyway, as you race the car... Your car gets levels, and that's how you uh, unlock upgrades for your car. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how we're doing on this, but uh, lap time wise. Oh, we're supposed to get 1.6, 1, 1 minute, 6 seconds. Let's see if we can do that and not run off the track. <laughs> Come on, slow down a little bit. Thank you. I'm going to try to keep these videos around 30 minutes, and, and next time I promise I'll start a timer so we know exactly uh, how long. Oh, we missed it by a couple seconds. Required practice laps complete. Great work. Feel free to end practice at any time or continue running hot laps until the session times out. I think we'll go one more, see if we can't beat that 1.6. Yeah, we, we must have played like a bunch of, like, we did challenges and stuff on uh, Gran Turismo. I've talked about it a lot when we was playing Forza. We might do some, uh, this is why, another reason why I want to do like a six day playthrough of this one, because we'll probably be doing a series on this one also, and I want to get to a point to where we can actually do that. So, you know, have access to our menus. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. Um, how do we finish our practice? Oh. Left button. There we go. Left arrow. That was a great practice session. Now it's time to race. I might have to bring my fan in here. It's starting to get hot, guys. So, place your bets.
what are we going to uh what are we going to get in this what's what place are we going to place um difficulty setting i think i'm gonna leave it leave it for now we'll we'll, we'll, we'll be fine That's a lot of cars. Also, what do you guys think about how the, the game looks? First event. Plenty of time to size up the competition before race starts. No, no we're just going to go to the race. I'm assuming they don't have any upgrades in either. Uh, the the difficulty you put the uh, your driver your AI driver AI on is what determines what their cars are upgraded on. The upgrades they have basically. me man we are losing the ground here I'm trying to go a little wide on these corners so I can get around these guys although trying to pass them on corners is probably not a good idea It didn't count. Didn't count. <laughs> I think you have to hit the grass to be honest with you. Or to count as a penalty. Like that. to watch my turns there to make sure I'm hitting those turns right. I don't think we're going to get third place here, though. So this is a four-lap race. All right. And we haven't gained any ground. <laughs> get fit and I'm gonna have to turn the driver tars down probably to a three we'll see or get better at the game that might be better because they're not like overpowering me you know what I'm saying they're staying with me This is a completely different game than Forza, though. Horizons. One more. Finish strong. We'll see. I can really tell my traction control is uh, keeping me on the track, though. Oh. 
I don't want to. I don't want to keep winning because I went off the track though. So we're gonna try to stop doing that. Yeah. Flat out. Flat out. Flat out. Oh no, no, no! I can't do that. I can't do that. Let's go back a little bit more. There we go. There we go. That's better. Twenty six. That's about what she wanted me to do anyway. We finished P3. We'll go ahead and continue. You guys can look at that. Pause it. Points earned after every race will determine our overall series standings. Ending the series at the top of the leaderboard means that trophy is ours. I'm going to do three races because that's going to take a while. Yeah. This one might be a little bit longer, guys, than a normal episode. We'll see. Builders Cup event number one in the books. Good showing out there today. I will show these. I won't skip them like I but that's not bad credits. So our practice was 3,800. Our first finish was 3,350. Difficulty bonus. Yeah, that's not bad. As our car levels up, we'll unlock new parts that we can use to increase vehicle performance. Okay. Next. Compound. Anti-sway bars. We won't worry about those for right now, but I'll probably change those. We have 58,000 credits. We're so they do ahead. start you out with like 50,000 credits. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Between each event, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your car. Use the valuable car points you've earned for new performance parts. New parts will be unlocked as you level up your car throughout the series. So, all we have is performance Leveling right now. Car earns you car points, or CP for short. Using your CP gets you the best performance upgrades to install. Try to experiment with different parts. If a part doesn't get you the results you were looking for, remove it. Then use the refunded CP for something else. Okay. No two cars are the same. Each car has its own unique set of parts. As you level up the car, new categories of parts will unlock. And see what I mean? At your car level, you have to get higher levels in order to get the parts, so... Installing parts will change the car's performance, and the PI number will be recalculated to reflect that change. A car's PI is determined by its level of performance. The faster the car, the higher the PI number. Car class corresponds to a specified PI range. Each event will have a car class and PI limit that we will need to stay under in order to compete. So we need to not go over 600. As we build, be sure to keep an eye on the balance between power and handling. Over-investing in any one area can hurt our competitiveness. Experiment to find a build that's right for you. Quick Upgrade will install parts for you and build a car with a balanced performance. No. <laughs> it, it wants me to click this. This is a summary of how your car's performance will change when we install the parts for you. It, it physically won't let me choose anything but what I... What are you putting on, though? I don't like that. Now that we have some new parts installed, let's head out for our next event. Okay, so put on... Would you stop for a second? 
That build looks good. Let's head to Magello. Mm, this is making me mad. It's like a tutorial, guys, so. Angel, stop it, man. You annoying dogs over there making a bunch of noises. Cleaning herself. Yeah. I, I was going to quick skip, but it wouldn't let me. I didn't click Changing fast enough. Changing one driving assist at a time is the best way to understand how each affects car control. Okay. While you're running the required practice laps, push that new build to the limit to hit that target lap time. Okay. What I want to do now... <laughs> <laughs> I have to use the bathroom. So I'm going to try to pause it <laughs> if I can. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in a second. Cross your fingers, guys. Because every time I've done this previously, it's uh, locked the game up. So I'll see you guys in a second, hopefully. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, if you're watching this for the first time, I have Crohn's disease, so like, I have to use the bathroom, and I can't like hold As you it. practice, you will pass through select track segments that are key to fast lap times. Your time is tracked through key segments, and when you improve your time, you'll receive a car progression bonus. Okay, so. This will probably start our first lap right here. I don't know how we're going to do with these uh, segment things, but we'll see. No, don't go off the course. Every circuit features key segments, like the one you just completed, that we can use to gauge your overall lap performance. Experiment with where to get on the brakes, when to accelerate, and find your perfect racing line to shave precious seconds off your lap time. I do like how this helps. The racing line helps a little bit, but I can see me turning this off uh, in the future. We'll see. So we're trying to beat 11 seconds. One minute and eleven point six seconds. So we'll see how see if we can't do that. There you go. That was your fastest time through that segment this session. Keep it up, and we'll have no problem getting the results we're after today. I know I'm going through these corners at, at yellow, but that's what I usually do anyway. So. And this should get us under the bonus. There we go. We achieved our target time with that last lap. Great work.
Also, if you guys have played this game, you have suggestions on which uh, settings I should adjust for uh, uh, the uh, driving assist, let me know. Yeah, we did under that one. That's because of our taking the corners too fast there. Yeah. See if we can make it up on this one. Nope. I'm not worried about it. You did the work in practice. We can go race. If you guys do want to see uh, me continue the series after six after six days, uh, just do at the on that last video. I'll I'll, I'll uh, get you guys and you guys leave a comment in there. We'll see, but uh, it'll probably be later on. Like I said, we are probably going to do a multiplayer series with this and me and me and Warg. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go. It's just the game looks pretty good even though I got the the graphic settings down a little bit you can't see how it's a little choppy around the the edges there don't go off the track And this is a four lap race, okay. Well, this is gonna be a long episode. We might have to make these an hour. I didn't think it was gonna be this long for each race. I have heard a little birdie told me that one of our hate a little just a little context here. Uh, one of our hated races in uh, Gran Turismo was the Mazda Miata race. And only because they forced you to buy and race a Mazda Miata. And <laughs> ever since then, it's like our most hated car. It's like every single Gran Turismo had a Mazda Miata race that you had to race. And you had to upgrade it. And then you had to uh, race against other Mazda Miatas. And it was super annoying. And uh, I'm not, I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones that hated that race series. Yeah. And I was told in this game, there is a series where you have to do that. So we'll see. Don't forget to put in the comments uh, what positions you think I'm going to get in the, each, each of the race series. Not series, but each each race. I thought I was doing a little bit better in this one, I don't know. Uh the ones in front of me are smoking me though. We're probably going to get fifth in this one, honestly. I'll see if I can't do some catching up. It's a little bit slower. Lose traction. We don't want to lose traction. Loss of traction means loss of speed.
Come on, guys. Slow down so I can get you. <laughs> Yeah, we, we lost on that one. No! Rewind. Yeah, that's fine. We'll make sure we slow down just a little bit more. There we go. That's better. I think one thing that's hurting me is, is hitting the edge there, it slows your car down too, so. And we pick up a couple of positions. I doubt it. I don't have faith in myself. Not the way I'm driving right now. Not gaining enough. We need to be gaining on these segments. Be careful on this one. This is the one I uh, overshot last time again. Yeah. Nope, fifth place. What was the best lap for them? Great work. They did have penalties, though. Look at this. So they cut some corners there. Not bad. Hmm. We're going to need to do good in the next race, or we're probably going to lose. I would like to get third in the series there. Yeah. Uh, fuel system, springs and dampeners. Differential, that might be useful, and transmissions. Flywheel. I don't know if we'll be able to put any of those on. Okay, so that one's locked up. It's unlocked all of them. Uh, Tuning? Tuning is all about making small incremental changes to a car's setup. Testing them out on track during practice and dialing it in. Some upgrade parts include more tuning options, giving you even more control over your car's performance. Uh, tires. Oh, I don't want to do anything with pressure. Oh, this is just tuning. Let's go back. I don't need Looks to do like tuning yet. Hold on. So let's head to Kyalami. Performance. Uh... This will put me at 599 if I put this on. What does it do? Acceleration. That might be useful. What else do we have? Uh, stop it. I what I'm seeing here is I can basically do one of these up, uh, one of these, and that's it. Okay. Tires. Huh. 
Oh, okay, that's what we're looking for. Um... Nope. Okay. That'll be good. Oh, I only had 200 C CP. That, that was the thing. I didn't see that. I didn't look at the cost of the actual upgrades. Continue. I do like how they have this game set up where doing the actual um, practice runs actually benefits you. And before anybody says it, there is a way to set up your uh, assist to fully drive the car itself. And uh, for all intents and purposes, I would never do that. But... Um, with the exception of like endurance races, like like a race that takes like forever, it's not something I would do on camera, and uh, I would just set the car up to to basically drive itself and then run those kind of races. Just let my my uh, game go. I'll be interested to see because I think when you upgrade your car, they upgrade their car. So I'll be it'll be interested to see. The difference is oh you can notice the difference in speed definitely slow down and this will start the lap here I have to look at my car options in the next race to see uh, the race series. Slow down. Still going a little bit fast. I slowed down. I slowed down too much on that corner. And I took it wrong. Wow, this is a long course. I did three laps on this thing. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> it's funny. What I was going to say. Because you kind of just want to just go, go, go. And you have to actually drive the car. And this one, it's a lot more uh, realistic driving than the previous Forza Horizon games was. I never did play any of the Forza Motorsports games, though. What are you slowing down so much for, man? Go, go, go. Like, I was pressing the gas, but he was just still slowing down. That's weird. I guess because he went over that hump. I, I am going to have to play with these driving assists uh, a little bit. Because some of them are, are I'm not happy with. I mean, it's the same in Forza Horizons. 
you use them and then then when you got used to the game and you knew uh, which ones you wanted on and which ones you didn't want on i'm assuming there's different levels on this one though so you can like adjust fine-tune adjust your uh settings here what am i aiming for 210 yeah i need four i need four seconds here That corner I messed up on, and I did it again. Yeah, when you take that corner too sharp, it kind of like messes up right there and just like uh, slows down or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if it, it's counting you as losing traction there and then slowing the car down because you're losing traction. That might be it. We're not going to get four seconds driving like this, though. I have been keeping myself on the course, though. That's something new. To, uh, say. I gotta do four laps on this one too. We might have to make these longer episodes. I was trying to do 30 minutes, but I would have to cut it down dramatically for 30 minutes. And uh, I don't want to have to do like one race at a time because we're only doing six days of this, so. You know? Come on. Thank you. Yeah, we're not going to get that. Last try. We really needed a strong finish on this one. The actual race, not the practice. That's actually pretty good on that corner. It shows too, I didn't do as bad as I did last time. Last time I was like a whole second over. I want to take these just right. Yeah. Nice. This is a tricky corner right here. Because you feel like that second turn, you want to slow down in it, but you don't. Flat out, flat out, flat out, flat out, flat out. No, don't listen to him. Go, 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 go. We are going to have to slow down for this one. We're just going to flat out. Go, 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 go. We going to get it? Nope. We're not going to get it. We came close, though. Last laps out there felt good. Let's race. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of car damage. That was one thing I liked about Gran Turismo. There was no car damage on there. Like, if, if you 
like you didn't purposefully try to hit people it was all about like the racing and that kind of thing but like if you if something happened and you hit something like your car didn't like look like crap as you were driving it oh i'm gonna have to get me some more water so last race guys let's go before each race you can adjust your starting position if you cross the finish line in first, second, or third position, you will receive a podium bonus. The size of the podium bonus depends on your starting position and difficulty settings. The more you challenge yourself, the bigger the podium bonus could be. Okay, but this only counts if you get the third. If you don't think you're going to get to third, then you can... So, uh, it's starting us at... I'm projected to finish fifth or seventh, so this doesn't really matter. But yeah, like like say if we started last, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I clicking, <laughs> left clicking is bad. Let's, we're not. Nope, nope. Let's just get started. I've already messed up too many times in this game. starting tracks though dude are a little bit skinny for these amount of cars that's on them slow down slow down slow down slow down i do like how these cars will tap you even though it, it's annoying when they do that Honestly, don't know what position we have to get in to make good in the actual series. No, 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 no. This car in front of me here is, is making me mad. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of my way. Now, will I get any any further than this? I'm hoping so. Prove the game engine wrong. I am relying a little bit too much on the turns of the driving assist, though. I can feel it. Slow down. Slow down. You got to come to a stop on that corner. Level nine. All right, go, go, go. I'm talking about. I would love to get third, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Man. I am taking a lot of risk here too. 
by trying to get these corners a little bit faster than normal. Oh, it's a three lap race. I thought it was a four lap race. It's not. Let's not mess up big so we don't lose our place, though. I think I think I'm good right now leaving the uh, drivers the way they are uh, I think it's about right for me to get better at driving against them so I'm gonna leave it at th leave it at this for now we'll see as I get better driving in the game if uh, we need to change them up a higher not low I feel like it's pretty good right now Last lap. This is my last chance to try to pass these guys. Last lap. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Go, go, go. Edge him out. I got to do is hold it. Come on, come on, come on. Can we get second? What do you guys think? I've been trying to find a screenshot so I could put it up like like I normally do but like it's hard to find one like and I was going to do like the starting screen but like there's no starting screen <laughs> so I'll have to figure out something Double 10. Nice. Oh, we're so close. Nope, that messed it up for us. We're not going to get it now. Yep, third place. We almost had it, though. We almost had it. Good run this is there. penalty. P3. Nope, I like that. See how their some of their stats did buff up right there. Ooh, does that mean we won first? I think it does. For the series, anyway. I'll let this play through. I don't like that I lost to a Mustang. Congrats. We just earned our first Builder's Cup trophy. Not a bad way to start our collection. Congratulations, you've earned the gold trophy for finishing first in the Builder's Cup intro series. This is accompanied by a 15,000 bonus. Cool. We unlocked ignition, clutch, uh, rear wing. 
Drive line. Bumpers. Good. Okay. Can you? <clears throat> really nauseous, guys. I haven't eaten anytime soon. I'm just all of a sudden nauseous. Every builder's cup tour contains multiple series of car groupings, each a unique challenge to outbuild and outrace your competition. As you complete tours, you will unlock unique rewards. Check back regularly as new tours with new rewards are released on a regular basis. Thanks for being a fan of motorsport. Here are some rewards for you. Okay, so we got a Porsche. White racing suit with gray track ribbon, pale gloves, and the Forza logo. Helmet is gray, teal, pink with car decals. So, this is the actual screen here, guys. And this is where I'm hopefully going to leave you guys. Uh, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm, movement for the channel. If you subscribe to my channel and you want to get notifications when I have new videos out, all you got to do is go to my page, hit the notification bell, set your settings inside the notification bell. You'll get notifications whenever you want them, not just whenever YouTube wants to send them to you. You come check out the videos. If you do like this video, you want to share it with your friends. Tell them what you like. There's a share tab down below. There's a link to social media pages. There's a link for you to copy and post wherever you want. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel. Use the notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next episode.